Hi, my name is Alex, and I'm excited to introduce new Nurkle functionality to simplify your log and string queries, making them more efficient. In this example, we have log data from a cart and checkout page. We have the URL, item ID, and unit price that we want to extract and put into graphs and charts. Here we want to introduce a new function called anchor parse to easily help you extract these values. Simply type a, a parse, put in the string you'd like to extract, and then in this case, we want to extract just the item ID. Here we want to change the value with an asterisk to denote we want to extract that value. And then on either side, we want to put the wildcard percentage to denote that we don't care what's on either side of this value. And there you go. We've easily, in a couple clicks, extracted the item ID from this string log. Now you're asking, what if I want to extract more values from the log? Well, simply do that by doing a multi-capture and putting multiple asterisks for what you, want, what you want to extract. You can see, though, that this is an array and can't be really used individually. So let's define each of these fields called a new, using a new functionality called Nurkle variables. Simply use with the values you want to define and as, and define them in any naming you'd like, in this case URL item ID, and unit price. You can now use these variables as many times as you want in the query. So let's answer the first question, how many items did I sell of each of these? Simply run a count star and facet off the item ID to get the total count of your IDs. You can also get the overall summation of the sales using the unit price. By doing some unit price, you can find this value. But note, you need to change it to numeric, because when you extract values from a string, you're extracting string values, and you need to change it to a number. Now you know the total price that you've sold from each of these items. You may be asking, isn't this similar to regex? And the answer is yes. And we now introduce regex can now handle multi-capture. Simply type in your regex, define all the values you want to capture, and use them as many times as you want. Note that an anchor parse function is more efficient and will run quicker. Now, lastly, let's go back to this last example and say that we know that two items with the ID here are red and the all other items are blue. What if we want to facet in this way? We're now introducing the new if functionality. Simply type in the a true false statement. So if item ID is one of these values, then call it red. Otherwise, call it blue. Having this simple conditional function makes it very easy to transform your data in new and in interesting ways. And that's it. You can find links to more information of these new features in the description below. Thank you.